Pomona was a Roman goddess of abundance. She is set to watch over and protect fruit trees, and is specifically associated with their flourishing and growth, as opposed to their harvest. Her name comes from the Latin pomum, meaning fruit, and specifically an orchard fruit. She is often depicted with a cornucopia, and is also associated with gardens. The Roman poet Ovid, writing during the reign of Augustus, tells us that no other of the wood nymphs of Latium tended gardens more skillfully or was more devoted to the orchard's care than Pomona. The pruning knife was her attribute, and with it she would cut back luxuriant growth, splitting the bark of branches and inserting grafts. Then, not wanting them to suffer, she would carefully water the trees in trickling streams. This was her great passion, and bothered by the constant advances of the woodland gods Silvanus and Picus, among others, she enclosed herself in an orchard, denying entrance and shunning men. This, however, didn't prove sufficient to stop Vertumnus, god of the seasons. Having the power to change form at will, he would often gain entrance by disguising himself. As Ovid writes, given a knife, he was a dresser and pruner of vines. He would carry a ladder, you'd think he'd be picking apples. He was a soldier with a sword or a fisherman taking up his rod. One time, he entered the garden disguised as an old woman. After having greeted and complimented Pomona, he pointed out a fine elm tree growing opposite them. It was covered in grapevines, and after having praised it, he argued that had it stood there, unmated, without its vine, it wouldn't have been sought after for more than its leaves, and likewise the vine, which rests on the tree, would have been lying on the ground. He continued by laying out the case that Pomona, like the tree and vine, should marry, although she would do best to ignore the vulgar offers of most of her admirers who love the latest girl they've seen, and instead choose Vertumnus, whom the old woman happened to know very well. Eventually, having also been told the story of Iphis and Anaxarity, which warns of the dangers of rejecting a suitor, she was convinced. When Vertumnus returned to the garden, this time in the form of a youth glowing like the sun, she did not shut him out, and the two were eventually married. The festival of Vertumnalia would go on to be held every year on August 13th in their honor. Unlike many other Roman goddesses and gods, Pomona does not have a Greek counterpart, although she is often associated with Demeter, 